guys, it's August here, and welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. In the last episode, we reached the first dungeon of the game, the East Palace, and made our way through it. However, I stopped here before we actually got to the boss. And now, with arrows at hand, let's take him on. Or should I say, let's take them on. These are the Armos Knights. And this boss, as you can probably expect, is actually really, really easy. All you can do is just stand in the corner like this, or stand <laughs> somewhere around here, and keep firing your arrows at them. I'm already failing this terribly. <laughs> Our goal is to take each of these knights down. I think three arrows does it. It's not too tough though. Yeah, it looks like three arrows is to go. Man, these guys are all over the place. <laughs> Die, you crazy knights. Almost down? Oh, come on. Something stupid. Am I seriously taking this long on this boss? This is embarrassing. <laughs> and when there's only one knight left, he will go crazy and try and attack you. I used 30 arrows on the Armos Knights. That is embarrassing. <laughs> but there we go, guys. The first boss is down. And we picked up the first pendant of the game. I do love the victory theme. You won the Pendant of Courage. Take it to Sharara. Two pendants remain. Let's head out. Alright, so let's go visit Sharara. And he should tell us what the next pendant is. I was kind of hoping we would pick up more bombs in that dungeon so I could go blow some random stuff up. But I suppose I have to deal with one right now. Hello there. So, you got the Pendant of Courage, and I shall tell you more of the legend. Generations ago, an order of knights protected the Hylian royalty. These knights of Hyrule were also guardians of the Pendants of Courage. It has been said that whenever disaster waylands the, the royal family, waylays, waylays, huh, that's a weird word, a hero shall emerge from the bloodline of the knights of Hyrule. Unfortunately, most of them were destroyed in the Great War against evil that took place when the Seven Sages created their seal. So it would be thought that no hero would ever again emerge. Below! I believe you are our hero, August. Find the remaining pendants. And carry this with you. It is a treasure passed down by the family of the sages. I want you to have it. And we get ourselves... The Pegasus Shoes. Now you can execute a devastating dash attack. Hold the L button for a short time. An item that shall aid you is hidden in the cave on the east side of the Lake Hylia. Go find it. So we have to head to Lake Hylia, huh? That's weird. I thought we had to head back to the town. Oh well. Bombs! Bombs! I guess not. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use that one bomb on this wall here. <laughs> uh, I don't like the ferry. That's a bad idea, game. Get off the ferry. You can find more bombs. Awesome. And rupees. Yeah, I just thought it was rupees, so I'm very happy about getting more bombs. <laughs> I know a few places we can break open. Alright then, well I guess we're heading down to Lake Hylia, which is, on the map, down here. Okay. With our new Pegasus boots, we can get around really quickly. As I mentioned, like, earlier on, I'm not back... Like, it's been a while since I've played the game, and I can't really remember where many hard pieces are. I know a few, and I know there's one in, um... Kakariko Town we can get now. Kakariko Village. And hopefully I can break open some random walls and find some more. I will soothe your wounds and comfort your weariness. Close your eyes and relax. Thank you, Fairy. That fully heals us, but of course we don't really need it because we're already full health. So yeah. Accursed trees! Oh, get out of the way, you damn yellow guy. <laughs> Why did I select the boomerang of all things? I would, rather, I would rather have the bow, but that's already out of arrows, so yeah. <laughs> the east of Lake Hylia, well, we should be coming down in it now. <laughs> okay, Link can't swim, so keep that in mind. <laughs> Yet. Da, da, da. Spoiler alert. Okay, you go away. These guys are seriously pissing me off. Can we, can we even get a round down there? I don't think we can, okay. The Pegasus boots seriously make things like getting around so much easier. 
Oh, here's a shop. May I help you? Select the thing you like. Uh, with the R button, presses are marked. That's a red potion over there, which um, we can put in our bottle and heal us. But fairies work just as well. I think I will actually pick up some more bombs while I'm here. Okay, well, 10 is the max. That is kind of annoying. I thought we would get like 20 or something, but I guess not. Oh man, look at this place. Is this gonna be, is this gonna be like that dungeon in Majora's Mask? I died! What the hell? Damn you, Mr. Krabs! And this is why I got those bottles. <laughs> oh, hello there. Oh, this guy tells you where you, need to, where you need to go next. We charge like 30 rubies or something, so... I think I'll pass, thanks. <laughs> How do we get to the east side? I'm really confused. Where are we? Oh, we have to go around the bottom. That is weird. Okay, screw that. <laughs> I guess we should... Especially because I don't know where we need to go. Like, well, I know where we need to go next, but I don't know, like, if we need an important item or something. Hey, speaking of walls, you can break open. Uh, no, no, damn it. I keep pressing that instead of select. Oh, another fairy? Okay, well. I suppose it's good to know, in case we need, ever need to get healed. So it's down here, is it? Go around the bottom side? Ah, uh, damn, Octorox. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Okay, let's get our boomerang again. <laughs> like I said, I would prefer to have the... Oh, no! Damn, guys. These guys here, the um, dancing guys, actually uh, stun you if you hit, your, hit them with your sword. So maybe a good idea to take this part slow. Does the boomerang work well against them? I guess it does. Hit them now? We can! Awesome! Uh, why is there, like, a bee following me? Bug catching that? We can! You caught a bee! What will you do? Uh, keep it in a bottle, I guess. I honestly forget what that does. Oh, look at that guy! Oh man, he exploded! <laughs> Stay away from the exploding guys! That's good advice for you, kids. That seems suspicious if I've ever seen anything. I have bombs, so I'm gonna use them. <laughs> Go! Okay, I was wrong. <laughs> Maybe I should just stick to cracked walls. This must be the cave. And another cave! This is actually really good. Come through here to find... The Ice Rod. It chills my... It chills magic blasts the air. Bought your magic meter. This is actually a really, really good weapon. With it, you can fire, like, bits of ice at people. Freezing them and stuff like that. <laughs> that's honestly about. That's honestly about to it. The, the um, ice rod really is a helpful weapon to have, and it can substitute as our ranged weapon until we get more um, arrows back. But as you can see, it takes away a lot of our magic meter. So yeah. What's through here? Anything special? Oh, a fountain! Awesome! I could use another fairy. <laughs> After the last one went away. Uh, fairies. Yes, but there we go. And I'll take this one too. If you come through here, you just see the, um, ice rod over there, so yeah. It's kind of there just to taunt you. <laughs> like, you can't get me! Well, this was, this was a successful trip. Thank you, Shurarara. But to actually progress to the next um, dungeon, and I honestly don't think you need the ice rod to get there. <laughs> We need to head back to the town. Or more appropriately, the town library. I think as I go on later in the game, I may just start cutting out, like, you know, me running around. Because there will be a lot of me running around. Hey, another wall we can break. But for now, since it's still early on, I'll show this all. So you guys get a good feel of the um, world map. Oh, we have these guys. Damn worms. Uh, let's, let's see if the ice rod works against these guys. It does! Awesome! Hopefully we don't run out of magic. I think we will! Damn it! Uh... Go! Uh... B? Does a B work here? Attack my enemies! It does! Awesome! <laughs> and can we take it back? We can! <laughs> awesome! 
I honestly didn't know this guy was going to be that helpful. Oh, hello there. Take some rubies, but don't tell anyone I gave them to you. Keep them between us, okay? Okay, uh... What the hell? 300? Then what's in the chest? More rupees? I want to find out. <laughs> but what if he gets angry at me? Okay, I'm going to take one of them. <laughs> and if I ever need to get more rupees, I'll come back here. Okay, I'm very happy we decided to go on this little adventure. <laughs> and here I was thinking that we'd only get, like, you know, a pointless item. Alright, so to get to the town, or more appropriately, the town library, we have to actually head down this bottom path here. As you can see on the map, the, you can either go down here to get to the town, or go around the top side like I did before. But the town library is actually, like, here, I think, in the center right now. So it's easy going this way. Oh yeah, home. Can we, like, sleep here and get, get our hearts back? Aww. Oh, that kind of sucks. A moment of silence for our deceased friend. Whoever he is. <laughs> Trying to team up on me. I have the pendant of courage. There's nothing you can do about it. I wonder if these guys even know like what's going on. Or if they're just like... They're probably like just brainwashed by the evil guy. I have no clue at all what's going on. Like our king told us all to go after a little boy. In a green hat. Ah, sorry about that, guys. I had to readjust my headset. <laughs> it was a mess. What's up here? Oh, that's nice music. Hello there. Uh, did I do something wrong? Uh, guy. Alright, well, he seems to have gone somewhere. You can actually get items from trees, too, if you run into them. Which is why I'm checking things out. But I guess none of these... Oh, they came back. Okay. <laughs> I guess they're waiting for us to leave. Well, I didn't want to listen to your music anyway! Hey, another bomb. Awesome. And we should be at the library now. Which is right here. Awesome. This is not the library. What are you doing here? Pay me 20 rupees and I'll let you open one chest. You can keep what's inside. Uh, sure, I guess. I have plenty of rupees to go around. Oh, the one on the right. 50! Awesome. <laughs> I think it's like a game of luck where, you, like, you know, one is 50, one is 20, and the other has, like, nothing in it. Is this the library, then? It has a book on top. It is! And with our new Pegasus boots, we can get this book here, which is... You found the Book of Medora. You can now use it to read the ancient language of the Hylia. We need this item to open some pretty important things later on. Including the next dungeon, so make sure to pick it up. Oh, what's this guy gonna say? Hey, August! I've been quarreling with my younger brother. It's something really stupid too, but sometimes you just can't give in, you know? So I sealed the door to his room? What the hell? You're like the worst brother alive! I have to rescue this guy, he's probably like depressed in there. He's been like eating three days. Uh, hello, are you okay? Hey, August, did you come from my older brother's room? Is he still angry? Uh, you really need to get out of here, man. <laughs> Your brother is a weirdo. Hello there. If you can reach the goal within 15 seconds, we'll give you something good. Ready, set, go. Okay, so we have to get there in 15 seconds. This is actually uh, fairly easy, but I may have to screw myself up. I think I have. <laughs> well, I can always do this again. Come over here, come down here, and talk to this guy. Just try it. Your time was, um, 13 seconds. You qualify, congratulations. I present you with a piece of heart. You found a piece of heart. Okay, there we go. I screwed up bad and I still, um, succeeded. So awesome. Alright, so before I head to the next dungeon, I think I'll actually go back to Kakariko and, um, see if there's anything I can do there. Now that we have bombs in our new Pegasus boots. I didn't really show it off last time, but a lot of the villagers in Kakariko actually hate us. Because all the guards are, you know, saying like, 
You have to catch his crinable and all that. Hello there, old man. Oh my flute playing son! How I miss the sound of his flute! He went to look for the golden power, but it's not yet returned. I wonder where he is and what he's doing now. Wait, your flute playing son? I think I saw that guy. Oh, I saw her! A beautiful young lady at the waterfall of wishing in the hills where the river begins. Oh, I guess you're just gonna meet her at least once. I'm sure you will like her. Uh, sure? I guess I'll head over there soon. <laughs> Maybe later on. What's in here? We have a little house? Oh, it's a um, item shop. Awesome. We don't really need, need anything here. Hello there. Did you meet the old man? If all the bad people go away, he can come back to the village. Bad people? You mean like the guards and stuff? Okay. Over here is actually a little shack which you can break open with bombs. One of the things I actually remember about this game. <laughs> and inside, this and some annoying mice. Or rats, whatever they are. Ooh, and a bunch of loot. Bombs, arrows. All stuff I could really, really use. <laughs> what else is there in the village? That I haven't showed off yet? We have a little garden there. A guy here. Hello there. Ah, come back. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? Let's leave. <laughs> and use our awesome Pegasus boots to actually catch that guy. Yeah, we got him. I can't believe you caught me. With your speed, it must have been easy to kidnap Zelda. You don't look like such a bad guy, though. Anyway, because you have such quick feet, it might be a good idea to run and bash into many things. For example, the trees in the village have many useful things hanging in their branches. We'll just try it, okay? Ah, oh, thanks, man. Let's try it out. I think there's a tree down here, actually. Bash. A rupee. Uh, okay. <laughs> your advice was terrible. <laughs> what about this tree here? Uh, nothing? Or do I just not have a, like, enough of run-up? I guess there's nothing in there. Small trees? Nothing. Okay, well, so far our trip back to the village has been pretty pointless. <laughs> but I don't mind at all. There's a wall we can break down here, though. Which leads to... Some pots? And a chest. Not bad. A piece of heart? That fills up, that fills up our second thing. <laughs> what? I don't even know. Can we break this, too? I guess not. But, you know, for those who haven't played Zelda before, which I'm sure, like, most of you have, Every piece of heart you get fills up a quarter of your bar, and when you get four of them, then you get an extra heart container. So yeah. A fairy, I could use that. Come here. Come here, you. Uh, hello? What's down here? It's like a little... Ah, ah! Treasure chest, eh? How do we get up there? Do you have to go around or something? Or fall down, fall down that hole? That seems the easiest way. What's in this chest? Bombs! You got some bombs! And a hole we can break here? Rupees. Yeah, rupees. I don't know what's the max we can hold. Because most Zelda games have, like, walls, so you can actually upgrade to get, you know, more rupees. Another piece of heart. Not bad. But I'm not sure if this game has wallet upgrades, or if it's just, you know, like, 999, and that's the max. That's all you can ever hold. I'm not too sure. But with at least 700, that means you can buy plenty of cool items. Hello there. Hey, it's Argus, the Wanted Man. He's over here, soldiers. Anyone, come quickly. Yeah, there are some people which you talk to will just will make the guards come over, so yeah. Of course, one guard's nothing to stop me. I'll love I'll puff and I'll blow your house in with my bombs. Alright, let's actually head down to the second dungeon. I think what I'll do, actually, before I go down there is... I want to quickly head back to Sanctuary. Because I believe there is, like, um... Like, I believe we can actually get down... Like, if the basement is still open, there's a hole we can... There's, like, a thing we can break down there. If you guys remember that. From, like, episode one. So is the passageway still open? It isn't. Uh, okay. 
I guess I'll have to come back down there later on. When we can actually get back into the castle. Alright, well, let's head down. Let's just see these trees. Nothing, nothing. Oh my god, apples! Nice! I wonder what you use the apples for. Uh, no item. Do we have to, like, give them to somebody? Ah, oh, whatever. I'm sure we'll figure that later on. So to get to the next dungeon, we actually have to head down this way. Oh, is this right? I think it'll be easy to go through the village. Head down this way. We're running without boots. See, these boots are seriously helpful. They make things so much easier to, to get around. Okay, she almost be there. We actually have to head back to that area we were before, like down here. The way we took to get to Lake Hylia. There should be an entrance uh, up here, I think. Ah, oh, damn, bow guys! No! Bow guys, the arch nemesis of the Pegasus boots. It'll be easy. It'll be easy to get around once we have a few more items. But for now, we have to take the long way. That guy's like a spy hiding in the grass. He's like a spy guy. Okay, you come here. I want to read the sign. Can I read it with you attacking me? Birds everywhere. This way to the desert of mystery. Ooh. Oh, come on, Link. They're like little stones. Ah, oh, whatever. Crab. I am just an average guy. Do not speak to me. Do not remove this sign. Uh, why? What, what will happen? Are you going to kill me? Is that it? Are you going to kill me? 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 Take your sign. What? Why did you take my shine? It just says plain as day to leave me alone. Sheesh. Uh, a uh, help? Guys, I have a weird old man following me. You can't enter. What the hell? Uh, what the hell, guys? What the hell? What will happen? Will, will we get rid of this guy? Will we make it to the second dungeon? What is going on? I'll see you guys next time.